In recent years, contacts with Israeli religious organizations dedicated to the search for the diaspora have created a new trend. The Aliyah of the Kuki, the immigration of this ethnic group of Southeast Asian Jews to the land of Israel. Even though we are in India, uh, the, our forefathers are coming from uh, the land of uh, God, which is called Zion. Someday um, I will reach my uh, dreamland. Someday I'm, I will be there. Benny, the cookie community's most famous singer, plans to leave his past life behind him. Like many here, he's about to leave for the promised land. He has sold his house as he prepares to depart with his family on a one-way trip, a final journey to the heart of the Middle East. I want to move from this country very soon. Uh, I'm glad. <laughs> we, we are happy to go, happy to, go um, to a promised land. This is not our land. <laughs> We are just, I guess, Indian guests. <laughs> we think it's like a guest. Tens of thousands of cookies live in India, but many are already in Israel in heart and mind. The head of the insurgency has even sent an official request to the head of government in Jerusalem, Benjamin Netanyahu. I'm sending it to him because I want to make him known that we are his people. And not only the Kuki people, all these, almost 20 countries are Manasseh people, Israel people. He being the Prime Minister of Israel, we are still Israel. Manasseh is one of Israel, so he should have more interest. Hello, how are you? Do you hear me? What's the weather there? It's good today. As for Shabbat, it should be 28 degrees, it's great. Then his niece has already moved to Israel, where she's built a new life. The phone is their only link now. He has no guarantee, but he hopes to leave India this year to finally land in Tel Aviv airport, as he says in his song, and become a citizen of the Jewish homeland. How do you feel when you see this flag? I feel happy and proud. This place is place. Samira is Ben's niece. Like many newcomers, she lives at the forefront of the Israeli settlements in Kiryat Arba. It's right next to the Palestinian city of Hebron, a very tense area in the heart of the West Bank. Before three months, it was here, right over here, and it was a bad, and the security guard was a woman, a girl. And one Arab girl come and try to step her, and uh, uh, the Maga girl just kill her instantly on the spot. <laughs> Six families live in my building. My neighbors, this is also from India, and my opposite is also from and the down and the lowest is also from India. Her apartment directly overlooks the huge fence separating Israelis and Palestinians. It's a far cry from her native Manipur. Everything is from but Zamira has made new friends here and planted a garden which reminds her of her old home. It's evident, it's evident from everything that we miss it, but uh, I can't leave Israel. The last time I went to Manipur, I missed them a lot. I went there, but my heart, my soul, my nesama was not uh, relaxed. Uh, I feel like uh, a foreigner going to there already. I, I'm Anilos Sayak. I'm not. I didn't fit there any, anymore. Traditionally. The Kukia fierce fighters, and many have joined the Israeli army or work for the security services. 
Yosef arrived with his parents when he was six. He grew up with the reality of life and settlements deemed illegal by the international community. <laughs> Living on the front line of Israel's settlement policy is a dangerous business. Ah, sometimes stone, but uh, not, uh, not too much danger. Everything is uh, bulletproof. Everybody here in Kiryat Arba is armed. A teenage girl has just been murdered by a Palestinian from nearby. But the cookies seem willing to brave the risks in order to live here. All the place is full of terrorists. No, 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 no place is safe anymore. But life goes on. Like all women in the settlement, Zamira spends Friday shopping for the Shabbat meal. They're really nice people. We love them here. We help each other. We know that we can count on them in the community. In Jerusalem, it's Yosef's day off. He and a friend join Jews from around the world at the Western Wall. It's nice that we can come here today. It's been a long time. Here is the symbol of why the cookie crossed continents to start a new life. Our parents are very shy. They scare about it. What people might think. Yeah. What people think about them. All the them. time they think about uh, what other people might think about us. Kind of insecure about themselves. We don't feel different. Don't feel different. Even though we look different, we don't feel different. A little bit. We grow up here. Exactly. I don't regret leaving the place. I mean, I love my country. I love India. I will never forget where I came from. But no, I don't want to go back there to leave as a Jew. In a few hours, the great siren will sound over Jerusalem, ushering in a day of prayers and rest. But for now, it's playtime for the city's multi-ethnic Jewish youth.